Hi everyone, Jeff Clark here at GoldSilver.com, back with you with another video with Mike Maloney. Mike, how are you today? I'm doing great, Jeff. How are you doing? Really good. You showed me some charts over the weekend that I thought our customers and readers might really like to see. Uh, they could kind of look over your shoulder and see what you're looking at right now. And the reason I wanted you to show them to them is because they really coincide with the everything bubble that you have talked about before. So this is like a quick little update on the everything bubble. So yeah. what have you got for us, Mike? Well, this first chart is the total amount of leverage in the system. And the reason that the leverage is important is because this is going to determine how quick and how severe any correction or crash that's coming up is. And what you see here is, uh, you know, we're up above $70 trillion worth of leverage. That means we're, we're, we've borrowed between the bank's margin debt, household debt, corporate debt, and government debt. You're talking about over $70 trillion compared to an economy that's around $20 trillion. The entire uh, world is using leverage because most people have negative net worths today. It's a sad fact, but it's true. And part of that, you can see in the debt used to maintain a standard of living, this is the gap between wages and the cost of living. And you see that the cost of living used to be lower than the wages paid. And then uh, in the early 90s, that trend uh, switched, it reversed. And we have been funding since the 90s the difference between the cost of living and how much we're getting paid off of the explosion in consumer credit. And that is also going to magnify uh, whatever the, the correction that is coming. The, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a crash but we'll call it a correction because maybe it won't be a crash. Maybe it'll be something that's slower than a crash, but it's going to be bad nonetheless. Now, this is the uh, consumer bankruptcies year over year change. And this is a chart that says to me that the top is in, that uh, the financial markets are topping right now, uh, or, or at least the economy. This measures the economy more than the financial markets. Uh, but, uh, what this is, is the year-over-year -year change. So back in 2013, there was a month here where there were 40,000 fewer bankruptcies than there were in the same month back in 2012. And so that's the way to read this, this chart. Well, now the bankruptcies have sort of leveled off. We're uh, at about the same amount of bankruptcies that we were a year ago, meaning that this uh, chart has peaked and now... Uh, it should accelerate to where there's more bankruptcies than there uh, were than were filed a year ago. So you're going to see these uh, bars going red more and more if, in fact, the economy has peaked, and I believe it has. This is another indicator saying that the economy has peaked. The volatility index, which is a measurement of how nervous investors are and whether or not they are pricing risk into their investments. And what you see is a, uh, this bottomed in 2007 when the stock markets were peaking and everybody thought everything would go on forever, just perfectly, and we'd stay in that nice, beautiful real estate bubble. And then, um, you know, we had the markets roll over and then we had the collapse of uh, Lehman Brothers and stuff. And, and up here when it hit 80, this is the most nervous that investors have ever been. And they were afraid to take risks. And this this is a measurement between the spread of some options and stuff. So that's what it's based on. And uh, they were very afraid of certain investments. Well, they're no longer afraid of anything. This is suggesting that the markets are peaking uh, right now. And then lastly, we have this uh, article here. I used to follow something called the Buffett Indicator. And what this is, is the... Uh, it's the value of the stock market compared to the value of the economy. So you've got the stock market compared to GDP. And it's a um, very, very good indicator. This is the one that Warren Buffett likes best as to whether the, econ the stock market is in an extreme bubble or not. And what you see here using this Fed data divided by GDP 
we were in a bubble back in the 60s when it was up at about 87%. So the stock market was 87% the size of the economy. We were in a hyper bubble when the stock market was one and a half times the U.S. economy. It was 151% of the U.S. economy. Well, we're up at 131.8, so 132% by this measure. The measure that I uh, have been using um, where the data is very easy, readily available uh, shows uh, that we were at 136% back in the year 2000 and that we're at 130%, 129.8 right now. I want to point out on both of these that the peak in 2007 was far lower than where we are now. So compared to the size of the economy, the bubble that we are in right now is, is a whole lot bigger than it was back in 2007. And this article uh, takes several different ways of comparing this, and they all point to the same thing. The markets are up at a top. Uh, things are probably going to be changing soon. And for the average investor, they're not going to be changing in a good direction. Very compelling, uh, Mike. It's some very good charts. Uh, like you told me over the weekend, the markets are topping, the markets are topping. And I think that's that's the theme here, that we should all be prepared for a reversal here sooner or later. So don't give well, up on your there is silver one, holdings. <laughs> there is one thing. Um, you know, the economy and the markets uh, don't have to go uh, at the same direction at the same time. This is uh, saying that the economy is peaking. This chart, though, the volatility index is saying that the stock markets are probably also peaking, too. So, yeah, I um, have, uh, you know, it's been tough riding through this uh, five-year pullback in gold and silver. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this is just about done here and that uh, we're going to be seeing some fireworks soon. Yes, absolutely. So... Uh, be prepared, everyone, and be sure to hang on to your gold and silver. So, Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Keep up with us and, and all the news at goldsilver.com. Don't forget, we have a price match guarantee, fast shipping, and a special insiders program just with Mike. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing, and click that notification bell so you can get all of our videos. And we'll see you next time. So thanks, Mike. Thank you, Jeff.